All right, now we have to write some more code to understand the G and the R. In this case, I already have a 98 out there, but I have to kind of fill you in where I got that information. So if you go to Google and you type in serial codes keyboard chart, there's a lot of these. And if you add ASCII to it, let's say I go like this, uh, serial ASCII keyboard chart, and go to the images, you'll find a whole bunch of these. I kind of use this one a lot, or this one, doesn't really matter. Um, the other one makes more sense though. So what you're looking for is the ASCII value for some of the major letters. And in this case, if I go to the original size, there I can actually read it. And I used what? Um, I used B and it was a lowercase b in this case or an uppercase b incidentally it didn't really matter because my arduino code doesn't care about uppercase or lowercase it just cares about a b but the uh, processing language does so if it was a b lowercase that's why it was a 98 so my next one is a g lowercase which is 103 right there Okay, so let's write some more code here. Uh, here's my opening bracket and closing bracket. I'm going to just copy that and just go down a couple, and paste it, change it from a lowercase b to a lowercase g, and then an uppercase g, and then write 103 here. Cool also going to clean up this code just a little bit and get rid of that space and the space right here because it's going to get messy if I don't. All right, let me write those values. Notice I don't have to upload anything. I could just write it. And I'm going to go move this out of the way, jump in here and hit G and see if it turns green. Sure enough, it does turn green. And if I hit B on the keyboard, it adds blue values green, blue, very cool. Okay, let's add the red code to it. Control C, Control V, again, um, lowercase r, uppercase r, and now I need my chart again. So lowercase r, in this case, I <laughs> get it in this case is 114 sweet so there we go blue green red doesn't really matter what order they're in even though no it should not be that way but Let's copy these. Oops. And let's paste them again, all three of them. And now we're looking for what? We're looking for um, E, capital E. We're looking for F, lowercase f, and we're looking for V, uppercase V. Okay, so again, let's consult our chart here. So for V, it's 118. I'm just going to change that code to 118. We're going to look for the lowercase f, which is 102. And we're going to look for lowercase e, which is 101. So this will allow us to, just like before, lower the value of RGB value there. Okay, so let me move all this hot mess to the side. Uh, this one over here, and let's see if this works. So R, red, good, and then I'll hit E, good, and then I'll hit 
G, good. F, sweet. B, good. V, good. Now, I now have the ability to be in a simple program, very simple, without being in the serial monitor, and clicking buttons to change the RGB value of this LED. Okay, so that's the very simple version of it, but you know what I really love about this script is, you know, I want to get those values back. I want to say, well, at what level or what voltage is the pulse width modulation to make that value of RGB? Okay, so that's what we're going to look at next is how can we manipulate the processing in order to spit out data from the serial monitor? Because remember, uh, before it looked like this. Okay, so let me stop this. And I'll go, jump into the Arduino and I'll hit serial. If I hit R and send it, I get some information here. Okay. With the other one, I don't have that information. So if I ever wanted to use the code for pulse width modulation to to write it as an analog write, I don't have that. Well, we just have to make our graphic user interface just a little bit bigger in order to support the change. Not hard, but in the next video.